Hello, I hope you're doing great. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download this uh, questionnaire or any questionnaire that you put on Google Forms uh, using uh, Google Forms, by the way, and also how you can export it as PDF or uh, then you can convert it into a Word document. So this is like the questionnaire. You just go to these dots here, you click on them and you go to print and uh, you get this window like this and you click save to PDF. So here we have different uh, formats. So just go to save to PDF and click save. And it will be, uh, let's say uh, like this. So we can just save it into document and it will be created. So this is just, we keep waiting for it. So it will be created this way. So this is the, the, the first way. The second way we want to take the responses. So we go to responses and we go to individual or we can cop or we can print any format here, either individual or question or anything. Just we do the same procedure. We go to uh, the three dots and we print, print all responses or download responses, CSV, etc. So I'm going just to click print all responses and wait for it to be generated. And uh, this is like the, uh, the second way to take the responses. But this way we'll copy all the responses separately. Okay. Uh, this is the, the so this is why it is taking too much time. So we can just go to question or individual. So this is for individual, but uh for summary we can just uh, include the summary not everything so it's better to go to summary and once the questions or responses are loaded you can just uh, copy and paste them to google uh, doc then you can export the google or your uh, doc as let's say microsoft office documents uh, this is the the only way you can get the, the graphs, etc. Or you can just go here and download responses or print all responses. But there is yet another way. You go to this icon and you cre create spreadsheet like this way. And then you can uh, code this spreadsheet. So there is this data coding, data cleaning, and uh, dealing with missing values, with duplicate uh, values, etc. So this is the process is called data cleaning and uh, data coding to, to transform the string values or the qualitative variables into uh, quali uh, quantitative ones like numerical. Uh, the last method is that we can just go to Google Documents. So we can just type it and find it there. And we go to questionnaire and we can just copy the, gra the graphs as they are. So just click copy, chart and go to Google document and paste it. So link to form only editors can update the chart. Collaborators can see link to or pa uh, paste and, uh, and linked. So there are like two options. So I can check this one. And then I can keep uh, doing this with all the others till I finish. So once I finish, I go to file and download the, the, this, uh, let's say Google document in Microsoft Word. Okay. Uh, then after this, I can also download the, the questionnaire as a, a Google doc. So just go to, uh, what is it? The, so I go to the questionnaire, I click, click the, the, the green icon. And then I should find the uh, the word that says so. So what is it? So this one. So I should go to file and click download so that I can download it as Microsoft Excel. So once it is downloaded, I can go and work on it like code it, etc. And I can use some uh, software like uh, SPSS, like Stata or Stata, like R. There are different free and uh, paid uh, software of data analysis, like even Excel. So it's better to use SPSS. Uh, if you need SPSS, I have I have the link to it. You can contact me. You can find details on on the description box and the comment uh, section below, so that I can share with you the link to SPSS and other uh, software like Stata 17, 16, etc. 
So I have all the, the most programs of data analysis. Also, I have R, I have Python. So R and Python are open source uh, software of data analysis, but others are subscription based uh, programs. So I think this is the, the different methods of data uh, copying, exportation, and uh, importation. If you have questions or remarks or you need assistance, don't hesitate to contact me via one of my social media. I can provide assistance as much as I can, uh, or tips or consultation or anything. Uh, just uh, would like to tell you good luck with this and see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.